students benefit from just being able uh, to be in school and to learn general principles and, and learn how to think. And I, I think the CBC is a good thing. You know, the CBC, because not everybody is a gifted mathematician or a gifted physicist, you know, and so uh, people should feel good if they're a gifted mechanic or if they're a gifted electrician or if they're a gifted chef, you know, and so I think CBC, from what I understand of it, will channel people's talents towards things that they have a natural ability and, and I think that's good. That we take those students who are dropping out of school because of fees maybe or because of performance they never actually got a chance to admit it in high school. We also take them through vocational trainings and uh, we also following closely the change of curriculum implementation where now we are going to CBC. So ABE still confirms its commitment and uh, dedication to supporting those needy students, not just actually for those who are academically uh, gifted, but even for those who have skills. We, we believe we are going to take uh, a number of students who are going to take the talent or skills based professions. So we believe and we are still committed uh, to empowering those kind of students. So we are, we are also trying to make these centers because now the current system is CBC. We want to take advantage of the CBC, make sure that if there's a possibility, can we make it a mandatory that any student who finishes grade 9 or does not proceed to any other high level of education, they must be able to go to the vocational training centers. It should be mandatory. It should not be, uh, we are going to make uh, like a, a deliberate uh, whatever, but it should be mandatory. Any student who does not make that level, can they join the VTC so that we have... All of us leaders, from the uh, village elders to the chiefs, whatever, we make sure that no student remains at home without accessing education, either formal or informal.